Hey guys, how's it going? LA here. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to install Ubuntu on a MacBook Pro. Now, we'll be using VirtualBox, so for this video, there's two things you'll need. You'll need a VirtualBox on your machine as well as an ISO of Ubuntu. Uh, to get Ubuntu, you can just go to ubuntu.com, navigate to the download section, and you'll want to download the desktop version of Ubuntu. Uh, for VirtualBox, you can go to virtualbox.org and download the OSX host version. Uh, once you have those two on your machine, then you can go ahead and get started. Since I have uh, VirtualBox as well as Ubuntu on my machine, we're gonna go ahead and get started here. And we can do that by clicking on the new button. So you can go ahead and label your machine whatever you want. However, if you start off labeling it one of the uh, common operating systems, you'll notice that Ubuntu does, or excuse me, you'll notice that VirtualBox auto-completes some of the information for you, such as the type and the version. So we'll type in Ubuntu here, and we'll click on continue. Ubuntu recommends having two gigabits of memory on your machine, so we're gonna go ahead and increase this to two gigs. We're gonna choose create a virtual hard disk now, uh, since we don't already have a uh, hard disk of or an image of uh, Ubuntu up. So we'll go ahead and choose create a virtual hard disk now. We'll choose VDI for our virtual image. And we'll choose dynamically allocated. Now Ubuntu recommends having 25 gigabytes of uh, memory. So we're gonna increase this to 25 gigs. All right, now that we have the virtual machine created, we want to go ahead and load the Ubuntu ISO. And we can do that by going to settings. Uh, settings is easily uh, found by right clicking on the virtual machine and clicking on settings. And we are going to go to storage. And we're going to click on the little CD icon that says empty. On, on the far right side of the screen, you'll see a little CD icon. Go ahead and click on CD and choose virtual optical disk image and you want to locate your ISO. Now my ISO is on my desktop. Uh, if your ISO isn't on your desktop just navigate to that location and double click on the ISO. Now we'll click on OK and we're ready to go. So from here we can click on start and you'll see that the virtual machine is booting up. Now I like to use a full screen, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on the little green button in the top left corner to make that a full screen. Okay, so now we're at the installation wizard. We'll have two options here for try Ubuntu and install Ubuntu. Uh, try Ubuntu will let you use Ubuntu live from the CD and install Ubuntu will install this directly onto your uh, virtual image. So we're gonna go ahead and click on install Ubuntu. And you'll be presented with an option to download updates while installing Ubuntu. Uh, let's go ahead and get that checked. Uh, this is going to save us a little bit of time. And we can click on continue. You'll want to make sure that erase disk uh, and install Ubuntu is checked and click on install now. You'll be presented a message that's going to notify you that it's going to partition and format uh, the virtual hard drive. So go ahead and click on OK or continue. For the time zone, click on uh, choose the appropriate time zone for your location and click on continue.
The keyboard layout that I'm going to use is going to be the English US version. So I'm going to go ahead and click on continue. And this option is going to ask you for your name, for your computer name, and for you to pick a password. So the name that I'm going to choose is going to be Ubuntu. The username is going to be somewhat generated off of that uh, name. So I'm going to leave that as it is. And for password, we're going to type a password here. You can leave these uh, options as they are, and we can click on continue. Right now, as you can see, Ubuntu is currently installing on our virtual machine. Okay, so the installation is complete. Now, before we click on restart now, we're going to remove the ISO that we loaded into our virtual machine. You can do that by going to Devices, Optical Drives, and Remove from Virtual Drive. And we're going to click on Force Unmount. Now from here, we're OK to click on Restart Now. Now typically, your virtual machine is supposed to reboot for you. Now if it doesn't reboot for you within the next couple of seconds, what you can do is navigate to the top and click on machine and give it a hard reset. All right, so Ubuntu is loaded. I'm gonna go ahead and type in my password. And we're logged into Ubuntu. Okay, so we have Ubuntu loaded here. I'm gonna go ahead and close this keyboard shortcut notification. All right, now there's a couple of things that we wanna do before we get started using Ubuntu. First off, we wanna get the terminal and we wanna make that uh, easily accessible. So we'll click on the search button in the top left corner of the screen. We'll type in terminal and we'll click and drag the terminal icon to our uh, quick navigation bar. That way, Terminal is easily accessible and we can uh, quickly open it up and execute commands. Now the second thing we want to do is double check and make sure that we have the latest updates for Ubuntu. And we can do that by opening up the terminal and switching over to super user. And we'll type an app get upgrade and we'll hit enter. Now it's gonna ask us, it's gonna let us know that we have a couple of upgrades available and it's gonna ask us if we want to uh, execute those updates. So we're gonna go ahead and click on yes or hit Y for yes. And it's gonna go through the upgrade process. All right guys, and there you have it. Ubuntu has completed its updates and it's ready to be used. So uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. And uh, thank you for watching my video.